Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. Happy Monday. Happy Martin Luther King Day as well. So as you guys know, I'm definitely into the whole basketball scene, college, high school, all that stuff. So this particular story that's gone viral over the past 24 hours has definitely just struck out to me. Um, if you guys do not know, um, there's a young man, his name is Darius Miles, 21 years old, and he played for the University of Alabama. Now, Darius Miles was really, really good nationally. He was part of the 2020 class out of Washington, D.C. He was also a four-star prospect, and he was one of the top national prospects in the country. So at that time, back in 2020, he signed on to play at the University of Alabama. So up until now, he's been doing good. He's been balling out, enjoying his college experience, until this past weekend. And this just goes to show you not only how short life is, but how one foolish decision can literally change the entire trajectory of not only your own life, but those around you. So let me go ahead and share with you guys this story that's coming from the University of that's coming from the University of Alabama concerning this star basketball player Darius Miles. So this was Saturday evening. And what basically happened is that Darius and, and his friend, Michael Lynn Davis, who's 20 years old. So supposedly what happened is that the two parties got into a minor argument on the strip, which is an area that's near the campus where like a lot of young people hang out. So they had got into it on the strip around 1:45 in the morning. And so at that point, they all go their separate ways. They get into their cars and, you know, they all, you know, prepare to go home. Well, Jenea's mother has come out. Her name is DeCarla Cotton. And she took to Facebook and she wrote the following. She says, took my baby's life because she wouldn't talk to him. I will tell you that she was loved by all. She was a beautiful young woman who loved her family. And most of all, her five-year-old son, Kane. She was just trying to enjoy her weekend with her cousin that attends the University of Alabama and her boyfriend. So this was a young woman who was not from the university. She was there visiting. And what the mother is saying is that Darius tried to talk to her and she basically turned him down and he felt away. And that's when they had kind of got into it. And I believe what happened later on is as they were on the road, they ran back into each other because then they go on to report this. A terrifying footage of the incident has been posted online where witnesses heard screaming after gunshots were heard. A ring doorbell caught 11 shots being fired into two black cars. The cars sped past at a high rate of speed and the people can be heard shouting, oh my God. It is unclear which gunshots in the video was fired by which involved party. Now they're saying the driver of Janae's vehicle because Janae was on the passenger side. So they're saying that the driver ended up pulling up to the police campus and he came to them and he was basically saying, saying that somebody had shot into their vehicle and he admitted to firing back, adding that he may have also struck a suspect as they were fleeing in their car. Whichever suspect it was, they're not naming it, but they're saying that the suspect was treated for non-life-threatening injuries at the hospital. The police later on identified two suspects after speaking to multiple witnesses and viewing the video surveillance footage. They eventually went to go arrest Darian Miles, and you can hear him basically weeping as they're doing the perp walk. And he's basically saying that I swear I love you more than you can imagine. Nobody knows who he's talking to. I don't know if he's talking to his homeboy or if he's having some type of delusion. But this entire situation is just insane. It is crazy how this played out. I mean, they basically ran back into each other and both cars started shooting at each other. They're saying that Darius and his friend Michael were shooting first 
and Janaea's driver was shooting back. And somehow this beautiful young woman got caught in the crossfire of this nonsense. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. Today's show sponsor is BetterHelp. And as you guys know, a lot of people are going through it. People are really stressed out. We have the cost of living going up. And a lot of people do not know what their future may look like in 2023. Did you know that a licensed therapist can help you become a better problem solver, making it easier to accomplish your goals no matter how big or small? Talking out your issues, problems, and fears with a licensed therapist can help you become less stressed and more confident in accomplishing your goals. So if you're thinking about trying out therapy, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient, it's accessible, and it's all online. All you have to do is go onto their website and fill out a short survey, and they will match with one of their hundreds of licensed therapists. And also, don't forget that if you're not clicking with that therapist, you can switch therapists at any time. So you're never going to be stuck with one particular therapist. So if you want to be a better problem solver and get your goals accomplished, Therapy can definitely get you there. So make sure you guys go on to betterhelp.com slash sip slow to get 10% off of your first month. So once again, go on to the website betterhelp.com slash sip slow to save 10% off your first month. So make sure you guys check them out. We are learning more about the two local men arrested in connection to a fatal shooting near the University of Alabama. One of the suspects is also a former University of Alabama basketball player. Stephanie Ramirez is live in Northeast with more details. Stephanie, what have you learned? Tisha Rob, so the university player we're told is one of two men originally from the greater D.C. area arrested and charged in the murder of a 23-year-old woman. This was in Alabama this past weekend. That University of Alabama player, he's been identified as Darius Miles. Now, we are still waiting for D.C. public schools to confirm this, but it says online that at one point he played basketball at Theodore Roosevelt High School behind us here in northwest D.C. And also um, before, that was before playing for the university, but I want you to listen to this as well. I swear, I love you more than you imagine. That was a tearful Darius Miles getting arrested. 21-year-old Miles of D.C. and 20-year-old Michael Davis of Charles County, Maryland, are facing capital murder charges. Online, it says capital murder can carry a life or death sentence in the state of Alabama. Tuscaloosa Police Chief Jack Kennedy told reporters that around 1.45 Sunday morning, Alabama University police were dispatched to an area by the school's stadium for a female passenger shot. Police said the driver the woman was with returned fire in self-defense hitting one of the suspects they have not said which but police later arrested miles and davis saying it appears the shooting stemmed from a minor argument between the two the two groups are not believed to know one another now miles's father david miles made this post to his public facebook account earlier today thanking people for their support he also wrote i know it's a daunting task but if anyone that is a friend of tracy darius or mines that is financially capable to be in tuscaloosa tomorrow when we go before for judge the judge for support it will be greatly appreciated the father is known in the area as a basketball coach we did go to his home to speak with david miles but he declined to comment attorneys for darius miles say the 20 year old dc native maintains his innocence all right so you guys just watched that news clip now what's even more interesting is that espn is reporting this they're saying that miles had walked away from the team last month as he dealt with personal challenges and an ankle injury and that injury continued to nag him and eventually led to his decision to end his season on Saturday, just hours before the shooting. So they're saying that he was already quitting the team because of the injury that he was sustaining on his ankle from basketball. And so that was going to basically end his college basketball career and that possibly he wasn't in a good headspace when that minor altercation turned deadly. Now, I don't know, you know, that could be a part of it, but either way, it does not negate that this young woman lost her life. And I'm just starting to see more and more cases of young women who are being attacked, assaulted, and even killed for nothing more than just turning somebody down or saying that they're not interested. I mean, that is really scary. She did not want to talk to him and she has that right to say, no, I'm not interested or I have a boyfriend and move on. And I think part of the problem is some of these young athletes are spoiled, 
pampered and they're used to getting their way. Even on campus, a lot of the athletes, not all, but many of them, they don't go to class. They're they're in paper classes. Their only thing, their only job is to win games. You have coaches who will pull these boys out of class and tell them, no, your job is to play. We'll worry about your grades later. So all that they're getting a free education, not really. And I believe that a lot of these athletes, unfortunately, they're self-centered. They're used to getting everything they want, you know, and they're used to girls throwing themselves at them. You know, how many girls, you know, want to be with a basketball player, football player, you know, they're, they may go into the NBA. So they're used to girls throwing themselves at them. So now he has a girl who he's probably assuming, Hey, I'm six foot nine. I'm clearly a basketball player. Why wouldn't she want me? And she just wasn't interested. Maybe she wants wanted to focus on her life. Maybe she was just getting out of a relationship. Who knows? Either way, she has the right to turn him down without fear of reprisal, without fear of being attacked, and without fear of, you know, getting shot in a car. Like, that's insane. They were shooting in her car. So now at this point, they got to figure out which bullet killed her. Either way, they were the ones who started it, but the driver was also shooting back. You know, I don't think he would have shot her, but you just never know. It's just sad that this woman was caught in this crossfire of nonsense. And for what? And for what? And I can't feel bad for this young man. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, my gosh, he put himself in a bad situation. And, you know, that's messed up. No, I don't feel bad for him. He was there at this school on a scholarship. I'm sure he grew up in a, a good, good home. OK, because AAU is not cheap basketball coaches, those basketball programs are not cheap. From what I've read, his parents are in law enforcement. So he grew up in a decent area and a decent home. They kept him in sports to keep him out of the streets. Um, I'm sure they instilled all types of morals in him. So the fact that as soon as he's away from the family, he would be on campus with a gun and hanging out with this other guy. They said the other guy is not even on campus. He's not a college student. So the fact that he's running around with this dude that's not a part of the basketball team. He doesn't go to the school and they're both riding around with guns and they're so trigger happy. It's just extremely disturbing. I don't know what is going on at this point in time with some, not all of course, of the kids in this generation, why they think that masculinity is them picking up a gun. You know, so I just find the whole situation just sad and disturbing. So I wanted to talk about it and I wanted to also share her story because I think at this point, a lot of women need to be very aware that people are just going through it. They are losing their minds. And at this point, it's better not to even make eye contact in certain situations because it seems like if somebody asks you for your number or asks you know, your name and you're hesitant or you don't want to be bothered, that could be a death sentence and that to me is disgusting and it's ridiculous and I feel so bad that this young girl this young mother who had her whole life ahead of her is now dead and for what they didn't even know each other that's the part that's so disturbing she didn't even know him and he didn't even know her and now she's she's gone now his lawyer is saying that he wasn't the one who shot and they're gonna try and put the pieces together but from what I heard in the state of Alabama, it doesn't matter if you're the shooter or the passenger, if shots are fired from that car and you're in that car, you can be found just as guilty as the person who did the physical shooting. So I see a lot of people saying, oh, he couldn't have did this. He's a basketball player. He has a lot to lose. His friend probably just started shooting. He was in the passenger side. Well, this is why as young men and young women, you need to choose your friends wisely. Everybody isn't your friend. If you are on a scholarship that so many kids would kill for, one of the top 50 athletes in America in 2020, you're in a position that many people will never know, never enjoy, never get to be in. At that point, you need to start making better decisions on who you call a friend. Your friends should be people who are going in the same path that you want to go in, who are going on the same trajectory. If this young man that you're riding with ain't even in college, maybe you should have left him in high school and moved down with people who are in college and who do want more for their lives rather than riding around with people, you know, who get upset 
that, you know, females don't want to holler at them. I'm sure there'll be more information coming out as the days go on, but this entire situation is extremely disturbing. So I leave the ball in y'all's court, no pun intended. Let me know what you guys think about this story. How do you guys feel about Darius Miles getting caught up in this murder? He has now been completely removed off the team. They've taken him down off of their website, and he is in jail, along with his friend Michael. And do you guys agree with me that it's getting more and more scary that so many women are losing their lives to things just as simple as turning a man down? I just find the whole situation heartbreaking and disturbing. So go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.